Hello everyone welcome to back my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. Bethany's major new plot on Coronation Street, in which she battles for her life in a Turkish hospital, starts next week. Mason's release causes tensions to flare up, while Joel keeps endangering the citizens in other places. This is our comprehensive overview to the 13 major upcoming events. Additionally, you may peruse our gallery of 23 images featuring spoilers from the shows airing next week. While Bethany is traveling to Turkey to write an advertisement for a clinic that offers cosmetic surgery, Daniel gets a call from her. Soon later, Daniel tells Sarah that Bethany is in critical condition after an operation that went horribly wrong for her. He is adamant that in order to help Bethany, they must both travel to Turkey right away. It is informed to Daniel and Sarah that Bethany has a very bad infection when they go to Turkey. They also find out that Bethany's travel insurance isn't working properly, which means she can't leave the country until her medical bills are fully paid. Later, as Bethany regains consciousness, Sarah informs her that she will live the rest of her life with a stoma bag. Daniel has an idea to create a crowdfunding campaign to help cover Bethany's £25,000 medical expenses after seeing Daisy's post. When Sarah notices that Bethany is obviously having trouble breathing while lying in her hospital bed, she becomes concerned. As they walk down the street, Joel approaches Dee Dee and shows her their wedding rings. He bemoans the fact that the rings serve as an uncomfortable reminder of their failed romance. Joel keeps bugging Dee Dee despite her rejection of his pathetic attempts to get her back. In the end, Ed and Ronnie intervene, but will they enforce the law on their own? Lauren keeps an eye on Joel's whereabouts via the monitoring software. She tells Dee Dee that Joel has been hanging out in an industrial park and a field, and she's puzzled by this. When Laura discovers that Joel has unexpectedly placed £5,000 into her bank account, the mystery only gets bigger. Is this an attempt to trap her again, or a sign of guilty eager to learn how Lauren and Frankie are doing? Roy pays Lauren a visit in the hospital. After Frankie's most recent health scare, Lauren breaks down in tears and explains that he is getting a scan to check for brain damage. Joel spends the day he was meant to marry Dee Dee alone in his flat, writing a letter. Afterwards, the cunning solicitor closes the door behind him as he enters the cafe while holding a bottle of whiskey. Seeing Joel inebriated, Roy worries about what the villain may do next. Dylan begs Betsy to come clean to the police about how, at Speed Doll, she had Mason's purse hidden in his jacket, causing him to be returned to young offenders. Dylan informs Scene of what has been happening when Betsy declines. As Mason returns to the cobblestones and squares up against Betsy, Dylan, and Liam, tensions rise. After receiving a tip from Liam, Gary shows up on the scene, but he runs the danger of aggravating the situation by seizing Mason and holding him against the wall. The next person to become involved is Stu, who separates Gary from Mason. Remorseful for not believing Mason after the speed doll event, Stu extends an apology and offers Mason his job back. Mason has a black eye as he reports for work at Speed Doll. When Mason tells Stu and Yasmin he was harmed in an accident, they don't know who to trust. In addition, Gary and Maria voice their disagreement with Stu and Yasmin's initial choice to rehire Mason. Later, Mason enters the restaurant covertly after hours while carrying his sleeping bag because it's obvious he has nowhere else to stay. Billy and Bernie are still at odds over Paul's funeral arrangements. Ultimately, Gemma advises Bernie that they let Billy conduct the main funeral as he sees fit and have their private memorial service. The Winter Browns devise a scheme to have a rave, and they think Kit might be able to exert some influence to get the roadway blocked off for the evening. Billy, meanwhile, is distraught to learn that Paul's burial is scheduled on the day that would have marked their first anniversary of marriage. To celebrate Fizz's 40th birthday, Tyrone and Fizz go on a midday date to the bistro. A text from the school informs the couple about Hope's new, covert vaping habit, interrupting them. Hope disregarded Fizz and Tyrone's cautions about the negative repercussions of vaping. 
She then proceeds to rob the local store of a fresh supply of vapes. Hope notices Adi when she inadvertently knocks vapes from the shelf on her way out. For the second time in a week, will she be exposed? Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.